Hello, good morning, welcome to another edition of the Vulcan Report as we focus now on the U.S. stocks, stock sector. Um, it's now uh, 11.34 a.m. in the morning and it is Monday, May the 3rd. Uh, right now we have a uh, chart up, an intraday chart of um, uh, looking at crude oil, ticker symbol OIH. As you can see, uh, we've, we've gone somewhat parabolic here. We hit a top on 423, topping out at 135.76. Now we're trading at 120.39, as you can see here. Um, some weakness as we head toward the 118.43. Remember I told you that we could expect prices to get down to this level. So those of you who have been following the videos, um, keep it up because we're, we're nailing these here for you. The best way to get even with the new world order of course is to beat them at their own game so uh, you don't have to fear for your lives and worry about how you're going to make it for those of you who are unemployed all you have to do is open up a trading account and follow the Vulcan report and you'll be able to make some money it doesn't even take a lot of money to do this uh, for those of you who have very limited funds uh, you can open a, uh, a micro forex account for as little as two hundred and fifty dollars and you can trade in one penny increments if that's what you need to do uh, who, you know, who cares if you only make five dollars a day that's five dollars a day more than what you make now uh, being uh, you know unemployed and having no source of income no unemployment or anything like that so for those of you who can do more go ahead and do it uh, for those of you who can't then um, you know follow along anyway and when, when you get 250 bucks go ahead and open up a micro forex account um, with the uh, ONA and you'll be you'll be straight you'll be fine um, so anyway without further ado this market is is tanking as you can see if you take a look at the indexes right now uh, you can see right here the Dow Jones Industrial Average is up 84 points, the S&P 500 is up 7 points, and the NASDAQ is up 19 points. Now looking at your tradables, which is the diamonds, the ticker symbol DIA, as you can see here, uh, you're at 110.96 of 86 cents. The SPY, tick, uh, or SPIDER, uh, the S&P 500 tracking stock, ticker symbol SPY, is up 77 cents. And the cubes, or Q, or triple cubes, quadruple cubes, however you want to call it, is up 47 cents, and that tracks the NASDAQ 100. Um, if you look here at gold, ticker symbol GLD, we're at 57 cents. Uh, the other gold, uh, GDX, is uh, down 76 cents. Let's take a look and see what that, see what the, what's going on here. All right, here is your gold uh, intraday chart, GLD. Uh, you see a nice gap up here in the open. Uh, we hit a high today of 116.28. As you can see, the trend is nice and, and steady upward here on this one. Uh, GDX seems not to be performing that well. GLD is more in tune with the gold spot and futures. GDX is more uh, of a stock, if you will, uh, ETF and. Um, it's it's down. It's down good today. You have a range of 51.05 and 49.37. We're at 49.76 now, uh, headed back down toward the lower end of the intraday range. Uh, looks like we're finding support around this level, this uh, 49 level. Um, hard to say, uh, but we did top out. If you come down here and look at uh, some of the technicals here, uh, we are weak showing downward momentum here so uh, the breakdown between these two ticker symbols is somewhat problematic uh, taking a look at silver ticker symbol SLV intraday we're at uh, eighteen dollars and thirty four cents showing some weakness topping out you see these two red candles here so we're here bumping up against some uh, some sort of resistance uh, but we, we still could break out, uh, so we'll have to take a look at that intraday and see what we can find. All right, taking a look here now at the uh, at, at the actual trading system here. This is uh, the GDX chart. <sighs> Looking here at the technicals, what we have here is 
the system's holding long positions. You see these yellow arrows? These are the entry point on the system here on the longs. Um, so it's been holding longs here. Those of you who are flat and looking to get long, you don't. Uh, you'll have to wait um, for for another signal, another reading. Um, as of right now, just going by today's technicals based on Friday's close, um, we're about three dollars and some cents off of a <clears throat> of uh, hitting a fifty a new fifty two week high in the GDX. So we'll have to wait and see uh, what will happen with that. Um, taking a look at the uh, the chart patterns, we have. Um, during the past 10 bars, there have been eight white up candles and two black down candles for a net of six white up candles. During the past 50 bars, there